solve problems on monte carlo simulation on weather forecast and quality control problem given question the occurrence of rain in a city on a day is dependent upon whether or not it rain on the previous day if it rain on the previous day the rain distribution is given in table event probability if it did not rain the previous day the rain distribution is given in table event probability simulate the city's weather for 10 days and determine by simulation the total days without rain as well as total rainfall during the period use the following random numbers 67 63 39 59 29.78.76.78.76 For simulation, assume that for the first day of simulation, it had not rained the day before. This question was asked, are you MBA June 2011? Let us understand the given data as mentioned in the question. Rain distribution is mentioned for two conditions. First one, when raining on previous day and when no rain on previous day for these two conditions event with probabilities is mentioned in the question there are 10 random numbers are also mentioned in the question now we have to fit these random numbers within the certain range so first we will move to the first condition when raining on previous day so for that we have to first find out the cumulative probability so how to find out the cumulative probability so when raining on previous day then there is the possibility of no rain is 0.50 so this is the first row so we will write here 0.50 as it is now for the second row that is for 1 cm rain possibility that is probability is 0.25 so here cumulative probability is 0.50 plus 0.25 that is 0.75 Then for the third row, 0.75 plus 0.15, that is 0.90. Then next 0.90 plus 0.05, that is 0.95. Then 0.95 plus 0.03, that is 0.98. And here 0.98 plus 0.02, that is 1. So we have to check the last number. So last number should be 1 or 100. So here it is 1. now we will de decide the range so how to decide the range so we have to refer the previous column so if we observe the range is always in between two numbers so for the first row range should be start from zero then for the second row we have to take the previous we have to refer the previous column and we have to write the first number that is 0.50 Now in the same way for third row I will write 0.75, 0.90, 0.95 and 0.98. Now we have to select the second number because the range is in between two numbers. So what is the first row second number? That is we have to take one number less than the initial number of the second row that is 0.49. So here also 0.75 minus 1, 0.74. Then here zero point ninety minus one zero point eighty nine. Then zero point ninety four, zero point ninety seven, and here last one is one. Now if we observe the random numbers, these all random numbers are two digit number. So if we multiply here each and every number with hundred, then we can fit all these data. So we will again make one column, extra column that is for modified range, and we will. Uh, multiply here with constant number that is hundred. So zero to forty nine, fifty to seventy four, seventy five to eighty nine, ninety to ninety four, ninety five to ninety seven, and ninety eight to hundred. Now we can easily fit all these random numbers within this range. Now we will move to the second condition. So second condition is when no rain on previous day. So with that condition we can fit the random number so how to fit this so for that we have to first find out the cumulative probability so first number as it is then for second number 0.75 plus 0.50 that is 
zero point ninety, then zero point ninety six, and here uh, hundred. That is one. Now we will define here the range. So for range, first number we should start from zero. Then here is zero point seventy five. Here is zero point ninety. And zero point ninety six. Now we will define the second number. So one number less that is zero point seventy four, zero point eighty nine, zero point ninety five, and here one. Now again we will move for the modified range because we have to fit all these random numbers. So we will multiply with hundred. That is zero to seventy four, seventy five to eighty nine, ninety to ninety five, and ninety six to hundred. So this is the modified range. Now we will move to the next. So random numbers are given. So we have to write these random numbers. Now these ten random numbers are given for ten number of days. So here I will write first day, second day, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So these are the ten days, and for ten days, ten random numbers are given. Now for the first day, condition is given that so for first day, condition is mentioned in the question. No raining on previous day. No rain on previous day. So this condition is mentioned in the question. So we have to refer this condition for this first day. So when no raining on previous day, that is no rain on previous day, then we have to refer this table two. So I will mention here this is the table one and this is the table number two. Now we will refer the table number two to fit this random number sixty-seven. So sixty-seven will fit in the range of zero to seventy-four, and here what is the event? Event is no rain. So for this. Sixty-seven random number, no rain is there. Now, when on previous day no rain is there, so for the next sixty-three random number, we have to again refer the se second table because on the first day no rain, so we have to uh, take here the second table sixty-three. So for sixty-three also, we we'll fit in the first row with no rain. Now for the third number also we will refer the table two because no rain on previous day so thirty nine so thirty nine also no rain is there then fifty five so fifty five also no rain is there then twenty nine so for twenty nine also no rain is there now seventy eight so seventy eight will fit in the second row seventy five to eighty nine and one centimeter rain is there. Now on the seventh day, if we observe on the previous day, that is on the sixth day, one centimeter rain is there. So we have to refer here the table one because this is the table for when raining on previous day. So for seventh day, seventy number is there. So seventy will fit in the second row, that is in between fifty and seventy four, and one centimeter rain is there. So for eighth. At the day also we have to refer the first table because on previous day raining is there. So now zero to six, that is six random number. So six random number fit in between zero to fourteen and with condition no rain. So here no rain. Now for the ninth random number or ninth day we have to refer the table with on previous with condition no raining on previous day. So here no rain on previous day and seventy eight will fit. In between the second row, that is one centimeter rain is there. And now for tenth day, we will refer table one because on previous day raining is there and seventy six. So seventy six will fit in the third row with two centimeter rain. So this event is getting completed. Now how we can conclude? So question is there. What is total rainfall? So what is the total rainfall? That is one two. Three plus two, that is five. So total rainfall is five centimeter during ten number of days, and no number of days for no rain. So how many number of days are there? That is first five plus this eighth day. That is 
total number of days for no rain is six number of days. That is six days. Give one question. The output of a production line is checked by an inspector for one or more of three different types of defects called defects A, B and C. If defect A occurs, the item is scrapped. If defect B or C occurs, the item must be reworked. The time required to rework a B defect is 15 minutes and the time required to rework a C defect is 30 minutes. The probabilities of an A, B and C defects are 0 0.15, 0 0.20 and 0 0.10 respectively. For 10 items coming off the assembly line, determine the number of items without any defect, the number of items scrapped and the total minutes of rework time. Use the following random numbers. Random number for defect A is given in question. Random number for defect B is mentioned in question as well as random number for defect C is mentioned in the question. This question of simulation is under the category of quality control problem. Where three types of defects are mentioned. Defect A, defect B, defect C. So occurrence of these defects with probabilities is also mentioned when defect A occurs in the item then it is having probability 0 0.15. When defect B occurs in the item with probability 0 0.20 and defect C occurs in the item with probability 0 0.10. The random numbers are also mentioned for each and every defect and we have to fit these random numbers for the table. Now how to fit? So for that if we observe this defect A, when it exists that is for existence answer is A, then probability is 0 0.15. So there is other, other option that is this defect A does not occur. So if I write here no then what is the probability? So we have to take 1 minus 0 0.15 that is 0 0.85. Now in the same way for the defect B. If it exists, that is answer is S, then probability is 0 0.20. So how, then the, there is the second option, that is the defect does not occur. So when answer is no, then what is the probability? 1 minus 0 0.20, that is 0 0.80. Now for this defect C, if there is S, then it is 0 0.10. And when there is no defect occurs in the item, then here probability is 0 0.90. Now we get this existence that is this event we can say event and here is the probability. Now the next column we have to calculate the cumulative probability. So for that we have to write this first 0 0.15 as it is and the next is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.85 that is 1. So in the same way we will write here. Then here also we have read 0 0.10 as it is and here is 1. Now next table we have to define the range. So next column we will write here the range. So how to define the range? So first number we will start from 0. And here on the second in the second row what is the starting number that we have to take? We have to refer the previous column and we will write here 0 0.15. So in the same way uh, we have to take the defect B as well as defect C. Now how to decide this second number? So range is always in between two numbers. So we have to take one number less than the second row that is 0 0.14 and here 1. Then here 0 0.19 and here 1 and here 0 0.09 and here 1. Now if we observe all these range then in this given range we cannot fit the random given random numbers. So all these random numbers are having two digits. So if we multiply all these range numbers with constant number that is 100 then we can fit all these random numbers. So we have to write here modified range. So in short I will write here MR that is the modified range. So here 0 to 14 and then 15 to 100. In the same way 0 to 19, 20 to 100. 
and here 0 to 9 and 10 to 100. So we have to multiply all of these with constant number 100. Now we have to fit all these random numbers for defect A, defect B and defect C within this prescribed modified range. So all these random numbers are given for the number of items. So 10 random numbers are assigned for the 10 item number. So I will mention here the numbers. Now we will move for the defect A. So for this defect A, when the defect A occurs, there is the scrap. When defect B occurs in the item, there is the rework of 30 minutes. And when defect C occurs, then there is the rework. So here, sorry, here is 15 minutes and rework of 30 minutes. So this information is mentioned in the question. Now we will move here. First, random number 48. So if we observe, 48 number for defect A will fit in this second row. Then, and what is this? Remark, so there is no any, no defect. So when no defect is there, so we will make here dash. Then for the second random number, that is for 55, it is also in the second row, that is with no defect. Then 91 is also no defect. 40 is also no defect. 93 is also no defect. Now next is 01. So 01 is in between 0 to 40. And which is having defect occurs in this item. So, sixth item is having defect. So, here what is the remark? So, when defect is A is there, then there is the scrap. So, I will write scrap. Then next 83, no defect. 63, no defect. 47, no defect. 52, no defect. Now, we will move for the second row. That is the second random number for B. So, we have to refer this table. That is when defect B occurs. 47. So 47 that means it will fit in the second row with no defect. 36 no defect. 57 no defect. 4. Now 4 will fit in the range of 0 to 19. So for this 0 to 19 defect occurs. And when defect occurs there is the rework for 15 minutes. So I will write here 15 minute rework. 79 no defect. 55 no defect. 10. So for 10 also it will exist in between 0 to 19. So here rework for 15 minutes. 13 rework for 15 minutes. 57 no defect 09 rework for 15 minutes. So if we observe defect B occurs in the item number 4, 7, 8 and 10. Now we will move for the random number for C. So for this C 82. So 82 will fit in the second row with no defect. 95 no defect, 18 no defect, 96 no defect, 20 no defect, 84 no defect, 56 also no defect, 11. So 11 will also fit in the second row, no defect, 52 no defect, now 3. So 3 will occur in between the range 0 to 9. So there is the defect C and when defect C is then, defect C occurs, then there is the reverse for 30 minutes. So from this we can conclude that how many number of items with no defect? Items with no defect. So I will write here number of items with no defect. So how we can conclude? So first item with no defect. Here is second. This is third. Then uh, this is fourth. That is fourth. And then there is 5. So there are total 5 number of items with no defect. And what is the total reward? So one item, that is 6 item, will move to the scrap. So for 6 item, for scrap. And what is the total reward? So total reward we have to calculate by adding all this timing. That is... 15 minute plus 15 minute so here 30 minute and plus this 30 60 minute and this total 30 90 minutes so total reverse we have to make for 90 minutes.